Penicillium mold is the source of penicillin, which was one of the first and most widely used antibiotics. Alexander Fleming, a Scottish bacteriologist, first noticed that colonies of Staphylococcus aureus did not grow in areas that were accidentally contaminated with Penicillium notatum. The mold was isolated and cultivated in a fluid medium. It produced a substance that could kill many common bacteria that can infect humans. Australian pathologist Howard Florey, along with British biochemist Ernst Boris Chain, isolated penicillin and made it available for therapeutic purposes in 1941. The types of penicillin synthesized by species of the mold may be divided into two segments, the naturally occurring penicillins and the semi-synthetic penicillins. Different types of penicillin can be produced for different purposes, as it is possible to alter the antibiotic's characteristics. The naturally occurring penicillins, penicillin G, benzyl penicillin, and penicillin B, phenoxymethyl penicillin, are still used clinically. Penicillin G, due to its low stability in acid, is often broken down by the stomach. This limits its effectiveness. Penicillin B is usually administered orally. It is less acid stable than penicillin G and can be used as an oral medication. Penicillins all work the same way. They inhibit the bacterial enzymes that are responsible for the cell wall synthesis and microorganisms replicating them activate other enzymes that break down the protective walls of the microorganism. They are only effective against microorganisms active in producing and replicating cell walls. Some bacteria strains, including Staphylococcus and others, are now resistant to penicillins. These bacteria produce penicillinase penicillinase, which is an enzyme that damages the penicillin's internal structure. This has led to the production of the penicillinase-resistant penicillins, second-generation penicillins. These agents can resist the activity of the B-lactamus but are less effective than the natural penicillins. They also pose a greater risk for liver toxicities. Moreover, some strains of Staphylococcus have become resistant to penicillinase-resistant penicillins, an example is methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA. Penicillins can be used to treat throat infections, meningitis and syphilis. Penicillin can cause skin reactions such as hives, swelling and hypersensitivity reactions. These are rarer and more severe reactions. Corticosteroids can be used to treat milder symptoms. However, it is possible to switch to other antibiotics to prevent more serious reactions. Anaphylactic shock can occur in people who have been previously sensitive and may be treated with epinephrine immediately.